I got the vapor kit here. I want to show you something on the voltages and different types of water that I'm using. A couple of obvious was asking me how I controlled the wattage. So I'm going to show you. First of all, here's my amp meter to show you what amperage I would be drawing. Over here I'm running a 1500 watt heating element for a resistor. And over here, I've got three 300 watt light bulbs. These would give me 900 watts added on to my 1500 watts, which would be 2400 watts. But right now, I'm going to show you on 1500 watts what this distilled water will do. Now, if I tried it on regular 12 volt system, it wouldn't even do nothing. You'd have to add hydroxide. Well, you know what? I'm tired of messing with hydroxide. It causes burns, and I've come close to getting burned sometimes, and I'm tired of messing with it. So the easiest way to make hydrogen is what I'm going to show you right now. Over here is my rectifier. 120 volts going in, 118 volts coming out DC. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. And this is going to be 1500 watts. Got to plug it in. Would help. Now, Zoom in a little bit. That's at 1500 watts. I'll come over here. This is how I boost up my wattage. I'll screw this light bulb in. Screw this one in. Screw this one in. Now with distilled water, it's not even going to light those light bulbs. But over here, I'm running 2,400 volts. And as you can see, it's not doing nothing. Very little. Okay, come over here. I'll unscrew the lights again. Turn it off. Now that was that distilled water. I'll take the distilled, take it out. I put it in my soft water. Now, soft water has got a, some salt, but not a whole lot. Now, I'm going to turn it on. This is at 1500 watts with the soft water. You can see the difference. That's at 1500 watts. Now, I come over here, notice it lights up because it's got more conductivity. Now that's at 1800 watts, 2100 watts, 2400 watts. Doing a good job. And that is not steam, that is hydrogen, the vapor. I'd light it off, but I ain't going to do it. Too much explosive right there. Okay. Unscrew the lights again so it starts off at 1500 watts. Now that was soft water. Now we take it, and I thought to myself, you know, Try it on regular tap water. I wondered what it would do. So this is regular tap water out of the garden hose. No salt, no electrolyte, just plain water. That wouldn't even do anything. Now watch the, what this does. 
This is because of the high voltage. Flip it on now. That's regular tap water. And look at the gas coming off of it. That's at 1500 watts. Now, if I come over here, I screw a 300 water in. That's at 1800 watts. I'll come over here, I'll screw another light bulb in. That's 2100 watts. Come over here, screw the third one in. That's 2400 watts. And look at the gas. And just to show you that this water ain't really hot. Water is only 140, between 144 and 147. And over here on my resistor, my element, it's 110 degrees between that. So I wanted to show you what the high voltage would do. Now before I leave you, now this is plain water. I'm going to hook up my regular 12 volt system off of my alternator. Here. Now, I got to kick on my alternator, so I'm putting out 14 volts. I'm not drawing nothing right now. I'm going to close my knife switch. I'm not drawing nothing. I'm still at 14 volts. And look at that. If you take a look, that's the difference between 118 volts and regular 12 volts. Right there I'd have to have electrolyte. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't need it. So that's what I'm doing right now, just seeing what differences it would make. And